Aha! Hello and very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. The time is 9 o'clock. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Welcome, 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 I say. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but globally throughout the world. A very, very warm welcome to you. Now, as I say, we only have one hour and we have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Now, last week we were discussing minimum pricing for alcohol, something that's just been brought in by the Scottish Government in Scotland. Surprise, surprise. And um, not surprise, surprise that it's been brought in, but surprise, surprise that the Scottish Government is in Scotland. Of course, you knew that anyway. Hello, this is John Watt. Hello, John. Dinky do, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Are you well? I am indeed, Stephen. I hope we don't get interrupted in the broadcast tonight because it looks like being a superb show. So should we bring in minimum pricing for tobacco? And they jack that up a bit. Hi, Scotty, says Jim McGeary. Hello, Jim McGeary. And Jim Schlavon. Hello, Jim Schlavon. Lovely to have you with us. I am Scotty McClue, if you've uh, never seen me before. If you're a member of the human race, remember that you are entitled to watch this broadcast. All right, even outsiders can come and watch us. Dinky do, says Andy Frizzell. Hello, Andy. A big hello from Wigan, says Michael Knight. Dinky do, Michael. Lovely to have you here from Wigan. Hello, Scotty, my main man. Good evening, old chap, says Douglas McPherson. Yes, is it McPherson or McPherson? You hear some people saying McPherson. I've always said McPherson. Giuseppe Bacchetti. Hello, how are you? Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Now, you should know the format by now, right? Very, very busy. Lots to talk about. And um, yes, crack the price for tobacco, says John Watt. There we are. Hi, Scotty. Do you still do your pies? Says Andy Fazell. Of course, McClue's Pies into any reputable bacon. Say, do you do McClue's Pies? Hello, McClue. Bring in minimum pricing for taxi trade. Daylight robbery would cease overnight. Gordon Stilling. Minimum pricing. Very interesting. No to six going up. Already it's a rip-off. I agree with drinking up. Scotland is a bad drink problem. Good evening, Scotty. This is David Hennessy. Same Paul, says Julie and Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Ben Lucas, welcome, 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 I see. Scott is on. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live saying dinky do just for you, but only for one hour. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I hope you've had a good weekend. This is Thomas Hamilton. I have indeed, Thomas. And I hope you have had a good weekend as well, because we have a lot to discuss tonight and so little time to do it in. Uh, Malcolm Wilson's watching. Dinky do, Malcolm. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Now, last week we just got out of time. I had to play you out. So there we are with goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. But uh, we'll see if we can get it sorted. They'll be charging us for tap water, says Paul Skinner. Well, they do in England, and I suspect, I'm not sure what the situation in, is in Wales. Maybe they can tell us. If you're down in Wales, can you tell us if you pay water rates? Yes, tell us what you do, not the water rates. The water rates, I say. Scotty, I love that hat. It reminds me of my dad, says Gordon Kate. Hello, Gordon Kate. Lovely to have you with us. Should be £20 for 20 says Gordon Drysdale. Yes, obviously the guy said, oh, don't jack the things up as a smoker. So we need to sort that. Wales have to pay, says Julianne Scott. She's down in Wales, you'll see, in Hluid, and uh, she's telling us that you have to pay. Um, so there we are. Tobacco and drink prices are atrocious. Pure government greed. It seems no one can get enjoyment out of anything. The smoking ban is just as bad says Alistair King. Now, Alistair King, I suspect you might be a smoker. Have I got that right or have I got that wrong? You can fess up on here because we believe in open communication, straight talking, in other words. So there you go. So fess up, Alistair. Sorry I'm late, says Paul Barrett. You're here now. Did you bring a note, Paul? Uh, you know, and then I can file it in the big black plastic file. Uh, McPherson is the new way to pronounce it. 
the Twechters up north, Billy Tuchters, I think he means up north, believe I say McPherson, but I won't hold that against the fine Highlander chaps. Yes, Douglas, I've got you down as Douglas McPherson, and that's what we will be doing. I have great friends called the McPhersons. So there you are. I enjoy a cigarette with my pint, says Alistair King. Fair enough, Alistair, you have fessed up, and we love the straight talking. We love the honesty. Uh, Welsh for water is doer. Doer. And I said it right, Julie and Scott. So you're paying for the doer. There you are. Um, I, I, it's becoming a nanny state, Scotty, says Ronnie Stevenson. Now, Ronnie Stevenson is a highly intelligent man, so he will know. So there you are. Uh, hello, Scotty. Didn't you do says Brian Kessick. Yay. Perfect, says Julianne Scott. The war. Getting charged for the war. Uh, so there you are. The government will tax fresh air next says Steve Burrows. Well, I don't know how far away we are from that. I suspect we pay far too much for our utilities. I had some American friends over last summer, and they were saying, you Brits really get ripped off for motoring and, uh, and for all these things as well, housing and all that. You really get ripped off. Uh, 18 cans, and he mentions, I can't advertise, of course, 18 cans of a, a special... Um, a special uh, cider, 12 pounds, Carlisle today. 20 cans in Scotland, 22 pounds. Nanny State, right enough. Tony Richardson, absolutely. The ciders, you could get a big plastic bottle of cider for about a couple of quid, but I doubt you'll get it for that now. I don't know what the price is. Ah, nice one, Gordon, says Julianne Scott. Scotty, it's too warm for the bonnet. I can't take the bonnet off, guys. If I take the bonnet off, you will be shocked. Oh! So there we are. Um, hello, Ski Scotty. I'm from Polska. You're looking as lovely as ever, says Rab. Rab, stop giving us nonsense like that. So there we are. Very kind of you, but uh, complete and utter nonsense. Um, come and join us, Gary Crossens there and Neil O'Gormley. Uh, what we're talking about tonight, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. We're watching the BAFTAs tonight. So there we are. I'd rather brew my own with these prices now, says Alistair King. Now, Alistair King, I was thinking about this the other day. I had a friend that used to do home brew. And it, can you still do home brew? They, uh, you could buy kits and you sort of boiled it up and let it cool. And then they added water and all that stuff, siphoned it off, put it in your old lemonade bottles with a couple of grains of sugar. I had to watch it didn't blow up. Uh, so there are just... Go visiting, get a drink at every house and save your money, says Paul Skinner. <laughs> They've banned a certain drink in Scotland, says Michael Knight. Good evening, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. Good evening to you, Neil O'Gormley. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for the globe. The world's top talk show. Dinky-doo, thank you for joining us. Uh, I make tatty wine, says Alistair King. Now, yes, I would be careful for that. My father told me about during the Second World War, some people had distilled potatoes and couldn't see for several days. So do be careful. Bonjour, fait bonnie Montrose. Sitting by the seaside, says Robert McHardy. Seaside at Montrose will be gorgeous tonight. And you've got uh, Montrose Harbour. Homebrew will blow your nut off, says Rab Hill. It depends what you're making, Rab. We I uh, still be fast footing in July, says Stephen Wearmouth. Well, it depends how much you had to drink at Hogmanay if you're still fast footing in July, Stephen. <laughs> so there you go. Yo, Scotty. Indy, Indy, Indy. Yes, 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 says Ian Johnson. Ian Johnson, I take it that you are a backer of Scottish independence. I am completely apolitical, as you know. And I like uh, to have a balance at all times. But there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that Scotland would do very, very well independently from the United Kingdom. So there you are. And I think that your Brexiteers are your um, separatists. They are breaking up the United Kingdom by trying to come out of Europe. Yes, 100% proof, 
pushing quality stuff, says Alistair King. Uh, Michael McGuigan, Mets, but it's no Michael McGuigan. Not good at all. Very, 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 very dangerous. Uh, T Total Scotty was on about the lad that said, go to each house for a drink, says Stephen Weymouth. I also don't drink anymore. Give it up about three years ago. Uh, so there you go. John Brown, stop talking on, says, Brill Scotty, says Ian Johnson. Lovely to have you with us, Ian, of course. Quality chat all the time, never a dull moment. Now then, we've got share points in the show, and we share at 9.15, 9.30, 9.45. And we also share at 10 o'clock. And then if you can remember to share during the week. All right. Although I am here as the kind of catalyst, this is your show. It's your talk show. That's why we do it. So there we go. A good point. First footing all year round, says Paul Skinner. Fair idea. A shared, says Julianne Scott. I thank you, Julianne Scott, down in Wales there. Tremendous. And uh, I was listening to Land of My Fathers last night with a Welsh male voice choir. What a fabulous sound they make. How were you know on last week? I was worried, says Rab. I was on last week, Rab. It was the week before I wasn't on. And then I came on on the Monday. So you will see the recording there on Facebook. And you'll also see it on YouTube. So get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube. All right. Um, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one and that's you on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Uh, my Fanny is a good song, says Julianne Scott. Me, fa me Fanny is, uh, I think you pronounce it, Me Fanwe. Me Fanwe. Da -da 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 me Fanwe. Yes, that's it. Uh, highlight of my evening this show after my accident on Thursday with the chainsaw, says Alistair King. For goodness sake, Alistair King, what have you done? Come on here and fess up. All right. Uh, no, can he make me at all, says Rab. Yes, I can. I can tell you to go to Scotty McClure's YouTube. That is an order, Rab Hill. Stephen Wearmouth, four big smiles. Any news about going more than once a week, Scotty? Says the marvellous Stephen Burrows. Yes, I told you we'd had top-level meetings with a lot of radio and television people. And there's a lot of excitement around about Scotty McClure returning to the airwaves. As I say, Scotty McClure was stolen from you. It's nothing I'd said or did. But the other radio stations were being driven absolutely up the wall by losing all their listeners to me. Right? So there you go. So they were getting a bit upset. So somebody's done a deal with somebody away up in the ether there. And that was a Scotty McClure off the radio but uh, we will be coming back on at some point i just can't give you the details at the moment your health is exactly your health is exactly that not any government to tell you how you should live your life says tony richardson yes but tony you've got to admit people were sucked into tobacco smoking and drinking alcohol uh, not necessarily although they were doing it they didn't necessarily know the outcomes, the risks, the danger it poses. I mean, young livers are not properly formed. Liver disease presents late. Cirrhosis presents late. And um, therefore, the damage is actually done. Sharon McBain. Hi, Scotty. Watching from hospital tonight. Hello, Sharon. I hope you're okay, my darling. I don't want to ask you what's the score in case it's something very personal. But I hope you get strong and well. Uh, is this YouTube live also, says Paul Skinner. No, no, Paul. We upload it to YouTube just after the program. So that's why it's difficult to get hold of Scotty McClure. We're uploading at the end of the program. Uh, so there you are. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, do. But there are plans afoot to go live on YouTube. But somebody was telling me, apparently, you need 10,000 subscribers. And I've just got 1,134 subscribers. So you want to go to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and subscribe. Fantastic. Somebody will put the URL in for you. Uh, right, share time, guys. Can everybody watching share right now? Share, 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 share. 
Um, I've been on well, Scotty. Thanks for asking, Sir Sharon McBean. I send you love, and I send you strength, Sharon McBean, so that you will be made well. There we are. Uh, you keep on talking about this radio thing, Scotty. Spill the beans, rap hill. You know I am a man of huge integrity and honour. And if I've been told to keep my coupon firmly shut, then so it will be. Keep my gob shut. Done it, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thanks very much, Scotty, says Sharon McBean. A privilege, Sharon. Uh, yes, it's your health, but it's taxpayers' burden. Here's the thing, Scotty. You must present a private health insurance card to buy cigs and drink. Yes, I've said this for years. Why don't we have a voucher system for booze and for fags? So there we are. Right, here we go. Um, now, what have I got here? What I'm going to try and do, guys, is share this. Here's everybody on talking, right? Talking to me and putting up the read boxes. There we go. I'll have to just move this one, guys. Just stick with me. There we go. That's it. Try and not talk to me, guys, if you can. Right. Excellent stuff. Now then, uh, I'll just put that down. Wonderful stuff. Right. Scotty, you're the man. No problem at all. Have we shared and shared and shared? I'm just going to share now, guys, uh, with my lot. So if you can all do the same, share, 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 share. That looks like last week. So I've just shared. <laughs> what a carry on. Oh, my goodness me. Right, there we are. Uh, now, if you can come on and give us your views, that would be absolutely fabulous. I'm just going to do a wee bit of sharing, folks. Stick with me. Uh, last week's show was in two parts, but well done, you guys. You certainly got through them. So there we are. Yeah, that's last week's we're looking at. Oh, my goodness me. Remember people used to say, oh, my giddy aunt. Where does that come? Shared and likes, says DD Mac. DD Mac, thank you very, very much indeed. That's very, very good of you. Now, does that look like this week's or last week's? There. I think I've got this week's. Right, yeah. That's this week's. I'm just going to share this. Darn it, a wee bit ghostly on there, guys. A wee bit scary in the light. That's the stuff. Right. Sharing that one. Excellent stuff. Psst. That's half the gas board listening to you, Mr. McClue. Mention something about a boiler breakdown or a gas leak. Douglas McPherson. I had a young gentleman round uh, hoping to sell me a new boiler. And I said, well, the old one's actually uh, not doing too well at the moment. Come on and I'll show you. So I took him outside and, uh, and it was fine. I mean, the old boiler was fine. It's just took a wee while to fire up. So I said to him, uh, right, uh, if you just fire that up. And he started to shake. I said, don't panic. He said, I I'm not sure about switching this on. So anyway, that was it. Anyway, result. New boiler. Excellent stuff. Um, do you know what you're doing, Scotty? Says Steve Burris. Well, I sort of know what I'm doing. You see, I've worked all the finest equipment in the country. Uh, worth millions and millions of pounds. But sometimes when you're clicking share, you've got to think twice. That sort of stuff. It's the, it's the heavy stuff that's difficult. Uh, share to a page. I'll share it to Scotty McClure's page. And if you could all do the same, that would be fantastic. Now... If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, and uh, I know a lot of you would be having a wee look at the BAFTAs tonight, but uh, that will probably finish up. Scotty, would you not fancy hosting questions on the Daily Politics show? I would actually, Steve, but the only thing is they're both big BBC programmes, and, um, you know, I don't know what, uh, what the setup is. The BBC tend to use the same people all the time so you don't often see new guest hosts but i would like to even be on question time some night it'll be quite important so you say right we've got uh, the prime minister theresa may we've got um uh, we've got uh, the foreign secretary boris johnson we've got the radio broadcaster television broadcaster scotty mcclue and uh, first question tonight you know, minimum pricing for alcohol. Scotty McClure. So there we go. Right. Um, so yes is the answer. You know, we'll think about that. Uh, I might have to take the bonnet off. Perhaps it's the bonnet 
that puts the BBC off putting me on one of the, the very big television programmes. Do you think if the S movement was to try and scrap the TV licence in Scotland, would this seal independence? Well, the only problem is the Yes movement, you'd actually have to be in power and you'd have to have negotiations with the BBC. But it is quite an antediluvian system when you sort of have to pay to get uh, your television, you know, especially when there's subscription television, when you've got Scotty McLuhan Facebook Live, why would you want to watch television at all? You could have me doing other programs on Facebook. So there you are. So the Yes Movement, um, I don't know, you see, I think when Scotland becomes independence, and I, I feel by the day that the way um, Brexiteers are breaking up this country, the separatists, as we call the Brexiteers. I think that Scotland's going to have to just go independent. It's going to be axiomatic. And um, if we do that, then probably the BBC would be replaced by the, the SBC, the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation, and the equipment all handed over, and it would all be uh, Scottish programmes, and we'd perhaps import some in from down south. Um, already, I don't think the full percentage is spent on programming in Scotland. Um, do you think of the Yes movement was to try? Yes, we've done that one. Sorry about that. Uh, question time, Scotty. Uh, you will get six months. It'd be class, though. <laughs> the Middle East, as you know, is sadly not a nice place to live, but I think it's safer than midsummer. Population 500. Half are dead and the other half are murderers says Tony Richards. Well, I'll tell you, Tony, I would think Emmerdale is quite a dangerous place to live as well. And um, also a, also a, a Coronation Street. Mm, that's a bit of a dodgy place. Well said, Scott is, says Ian Johnson. Dinky do, Ian. Lovely to hear from you. My dad can't vote for independence, says John Watt. Why not, John? Is he not a resident of Scotland? So there you are. Kevin McDonald's watching Dinky Doo. Come and join us, Kev. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. Not just for one nation, but globally for the whole globe. I am the first lord of the internet. And I also am the world's top broadcaster. That goes undisputed. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo. Good evening, sir, from Nottingham. Says Patrick Para Collins. Good evening, Patrick Para Collins from Nottingham. Lovely to have you with us. Nottingham, a fine part of the world, I say. I broadcast there for a long time, many years. Hey, he from Scotland moved to England, says John Watt. Ah, he would need to move back to Scotland then, wouldn't he? John Watt, very important. Guys, I'm just going to share this with the group as well. I think that's important. Would we lose, brackets, only fools and horses, close brackets, on the telly after Brexit? If so, great. I know it's a good show, but it seems to be on a two-decade loop. It's never off. Douglas McPherson, I can see your point. I watch a lot of these things that were very, very wonderful in their day. Uh, you know, I mean, Only Fools and Horses, outstanding comedy. Um, you know, David Jason, Nicholas Lindhurst, they are first class actors. Um, and uh, I've noticed that. But the thing is, a lot of stuff. I can't say there's Only Fools and Horses because I still find it very funny. The classic moments, the bar top, you know. When he fell down, do you remember the bar top moment? And the chandelier, of course, was amazing. I'm just sharing in a group, guys. Sharing in the Scotty McClue group. So if you, want to, if you want to do a bit of sharing, then do feel free to do that as well. Just that will be coming up. And uh, a lot of it's to do with the sharing. You can never share too much on Scotty McClue. So if every single one of you shares and shares and shares, then we'll get the show out there. Uh, Bertha King Patton, dinky do lovely to have you with us, Roberta. Uh, a marvellous, marvellous lady. Fantastic stuff. Come on and chit-chat, I see. There you go. That's just shared to the Scotty McClue fan group. So that will be coming on. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClue with your capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty. And the McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That is the McClue. 
Broadcasting par excellence, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. That's why I'm addicted to Reliance. I own eight of them. Two Trotter replicas, says Alistair King. Alistair King, are you Jen up? Or are you working my clue from the back? Are you doing a wee one doing my leg there? Fantastic stuff. That's that's amazing. The Reliance, there was the Robin, and the van was something else. Now, what's the van? Come on. There you go, Alistair King Patton. Eh, sorry, Alistair King. I'm getting mixed up with Rebecca King Patton and Alistair King. Alistair King. Uh, if you can tell us the name of the van, that was a different model, wasn't it? There was the Robin, and then what was the van? Can you sing the Crystal Chandelier? And if no, how no? You sing it, Rab. Hi, Scotty from Davy and Debs in Scotland. This is Debs Crumby. Debs Crumby, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. <coughs> Shout put to me, Scotty. Jonathan Scott Donegan. Dinky do. The Regal, says Alistair King. It was indeed the Reliant Regal, was that van. And uh, you got it in yellow. I think you got it in a kind of turquoise as well, if I remember right. Carlisle is a wee hidden gem of a city. I know Carlisle very, very well. I used to be on Border Television, the television station for the borders and the north of England. What a fantastic place it was. And I lived in Carlisle. Lovely, lovely part of the world. You get out to Wetherall and uh, down to Penrith, out to Port Carlisle, Sillith, and uh, along the Warwick Road. Warwick Road. Yes, they talk like that in Carlisle. It's not, it's not Carlisle, it's Carlisle. There you are. And uh, getting down the Scots Road, of course. Marvellous. To uh, to Stanix, past Stanix. And uh, into... Uh, now, what's the big roundabout called? Uh, something circus at Stanix. What's the big roundabout with the council building there? And what have you. Evening, McClue, says Neil James Mills. Evening, Neil James Mills. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. Fantastic stuff. Time is on the wane, though. As the guy said, my grandfather clock fell down near the kids. Um, and we're going to have to start sharing again. I've also got a kitten, the four-wheeler. I own Reliance uh, Owners Club Scotland. We're on Facebook, says Alistair King. Now, I remember being in the kitten. Tremendous. I knew a lady who had a Reliant kitten, and I think it was turquoise. And yes, a little four-wheel, that's right. Um, phone, Scotty. I'm fed up doing it, says Rab Hill. Wonderful Rab. Excellent stuff. It was really just by way of a wee experiment rap. Marvel's to have a wee experiment. Now, if you've just joined us, we're talking about last week we're mentioning minimum pricing in alcohol, which has been brought into Scotland by the Scottish Government. This week, what we're doing is we're talking about should there be minimum pricing for tobacco? All right, so if you've got an opinion on that, do let us know there. Come on. Carlisle was my dad something. I just missed that. Uh, hello, says Stuart Main. Hello, Stuart Main. Dinky do from Scotty McClue and everybody else. Taxi drivers and begging lights. Terrible, says Darren Clover. Tell us more about this, Darren. You've just fed us there. You've you've thrown us a left fielder, a curved ball. You said taxi drivers and begging lights, but you haven't actually said anything about it. So do let us know what you mean by that. That'd be marvellous. Uh, you're, you're watching Scotty McClue, guys, if you've just joined us. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching in Canada or America or Australia or New Zealand, Russia, China, Japan. We had a gentleman in Russia last week who said he was watching me there. So McClue's no doubt very big in Russia. Should be the same for vapes if they do it for cigarettes, says Alistair King. Right. Should vaping be very, very expensive? Should it be a tenner? For vaping stuff, um, how does I'm not quite sure how the vapes work. I did um, have a look at vape cigarettes because I wanted to get people off tobacco, um, and I remember uh, advertising vape cigarettes to get people off tobacco. But I stopped all that because I don't know how dangerous the vaping is. Take the fags off the shelf and get more drink on it. Says Ram. <coughs> vapes are just as harmful says Alistair King. Now, that's interesting, Alistair. This is an opinion I would hasten to add 
an opinion that vapes are as harmful as tobacco. Do you agree with that? Let's know. Uh, so there we are. Uh, stopping smoking is easy, Scotty. I've stopped a million times, says Nilo Gormley. Absolutely. Um, me and my dad always stopped off at Carlisle when we go to Stranra, says John Watt. So there we are. So I think you're coming up from the south, John Watt, to go to Stranra via Carlisle. Burn holes in your lungs, says Alistair King. Quite sure. Watching live while dipping my toes in the North Sea on the East Coast, says Robert McCarty. Fabulous. Have you had a wonderful day, Robert? Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, Scotty. Do you think any good will come of it? Well, the two of them holding hands, the two presidents of North and South Korea holding hands. So if Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un hold hands, that would be an interesting one. Taxi drivers, expensive. They never take the quickest routes. I think you can ask a taxi driver to take the quick route, though. I mean, if I jump in a taxi, I say, could you nip out that road, by the way, so that, you know, we're not going to round all the houses, that kind of stuff, you know. How is it you're going? I always ask them, how would you be going? Oh, no, 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 no. Could I suggest you take such and such a route? All that stuff. Uh, from Liverpool, says John Watt. Absolutely, John Watt. Yes, if you're coming from Liverpool, um, if you're coming up from Liverpool and you're going to Stranra in Scotland, then you could go via Carlisle. Excellent stuff. Scotty, what is the universal question? The universal question tonight, Colin Roger, is should we be um, taxing minimum pricing on tobacco? So there you are. Tell us what you think about that. David Moore Morris. Dinky-doo. Why don't you come on? Say dinky-doo. They both seem a bit angry, Scotty. Maybe if they had a decent barber, says Stephen Wearmouth. I don't know why the Donald doesn't go for the short back and sides. I have got a fabulous barber. And I'm sure she'd be delighted. Because uh, I did ask her, would I suit a blowback like, uh, like Donald Trump, you know? But if it's fashion, if Donald Trump's here is high fashion how come he's the only one with it never seen anybody else with it um they yes Botchergate, great place for a drink says tony richardson down the butcher gate absolutely not so easy if you're stuck in traffic and i can tell you that never mind fags of drink it's about 20 quid for a pie at scotch corner so there you are maybe that's because it's a scotch pie and you're still in England at Scotch Corner, aren't you? Is that right? You're still in England if you're at Scotch Corner. Uh, do tell us. Is Scotch Corner in Scotland or England? Come on, somebody. Come on and spill. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do I see. Excellent stuff. You're watching Scotty McClue. Time for a share. Let me see what the time is here. I've got to keep... Oh, my goodness. We're way past... Our share time. The time does fly when you enjoy yourselves. I don't know if you're watching the BAFTAs tonight, guys. Excellent stuff. What I'm going to try and do is share on my Dinky Do page. Uh, a blowback, Scotty, at my age. More chance of a blowout, says Stephen Wearmouth. Definitely, I would say that cigarettes are more harmful than drink, says Colin Roger. The only thing is, heavy smokers, a lot of them died quite young, right enough. But they used to say to me that drink affected the whole family, whereas fags just affected themselves. You know, if you've got a drunken mother or father. Uh, Big Joe Barber is watching from Aussie. Fabulous. Love the Scottish pies, says John Watt. Minimum pricing, tax our way out of social problems. Never going to happen. There we are. We've got uh, Joe. Joe Barber in Australia there. Tremendous, Joe. Wonderful stuff. Done it, pal. Good. I'm just about to do it. I'm going to have to change this so it goes out to Dinky Do. Fantastic. I'm sharing the Dinky Do page. Right, that's that shared. Why is it when you get a taxi? The first question asked is, have you been busy and what time do you finish? Well, they like to know what you do. A guy managed to spear it out of me what I did one day. And then he was beside himself with joy. So they actually forgot to put his meter on and he didn't charge me. 
but I paid him. He said, oh, Scott, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I said, no, you have no put the meter on. I forgot all about it. I said, no, listen, how much does it normally cost? He went, oh, no, forget it, Scotty, forget it. I said, no, no, no. But the last time I got one of you guys to drop me off here, it was five quid. So if I give you five quid. So that was him. That was him. Uh, tax people that don't put their bins out. Then have the council come and clean their, their shecht. Is a slightly sweary word, but the shecht up for free. I changed the word to shecht. I thought that was more polite, the shecht. Right, I'm just sharing again, guys. Get the bonnet off, Scotty, and shake that lovely hair about. <laughs> there you go. I look like a brittle pad. Um, Nivag Shritek, come and join us. And Bobby McLaughlin, you come and join us as well. Tremendous stuff. Right, I'm just going to share in a group, guys. And get that going out there. I know a lot of you, uh, you know, will be watching the the BAFTAs, but you're very welcome. Try and never, ever, ever miss a moment of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. This is top television. So there we are. This should actually be in for a BAFTA, I would say. I think that would be tremendous. I'm just sharing away here, guys. My friend got fired from his taxi driving job. Somebody grasped him in for indicating. I gave up my taxi driving job because people were talking behind my back. So there you go. That's what can happen there as well, folks. I tell you. Right. Uh, we're just getting on the old Facebook Live here. Uh, marvellous, marvellous. Let's get this going. Excellent. Right. Uh, Facebook. Marvellous. Just letting everybody know that we're streaming, guys. I think it's very, very important. So let everybody know that we are streaming. Alan Brown's watching in Washington, D.C. Dinky do, Alan Brown. Come on and have a chit-chat with your old chum, McClue. Now, guys, just to put you in the picture, if this is your first experience, right, if you're a Scotty McClue virgin, then uh, what we do is we appear every Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp on Facebook Live, right? 28, uh, is it 28 years this year? 26 years of the Scotty McClue show. Uh, so there you go. You might look like a brillo pad, but you scrub up well, says so Rab. Thanks, Rab. So do you. Uh, what's 20 foot tall and yellow, says Bobby McLaughlin. I do hope this is appropriate for the Scotty McClue show on a Sunday night, Bobby McLaughlin. Keith Wallace watching. Dinky Doo, Keith, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. Right, can everybody share, 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 share. Now, uh, name that tune. Because uh, it's a Sunday night, we were going to have a name that hymn. So there we are. And uh, I'll give you a wee blast on the pipe organ when we're ready, guys. We are no steaming, says Robert McHardy. No streaming. Streaming, we were saying, Robert McHardy. Uh, please settle an argument. Is it a chip barn or a chip muffin? It's a chip butty. It's neither a barn nor a muffin. I suppose it depends where you come from, but it's a chip butty that you would have. Or uh, a roll and chips. There we are. That's a Scottish one. A girafidil. A chip cob. Yes, a cob, a cob, that's right. A wee loaf. Uh, where does all this extra tax money go? Taxing the public more money. Doesn't help your health and the environment. Feeding the government's pockets to help ruin our country, says Alistair King. Do you get a feeling, though, that we are actually ruining our country? So there you are. That's a feeling I've had before. Get sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. Amazing Grace. So Rab Hill, I'll try and get that one from you, but you've already mentioned what it is. It was going to be a mystery tune. So there we are. Is it a mince roll or a roll and mince? I've never ever had a roll and mince, David Moore Morris. I think it's a mince round. Because I remember a guy coming into the butcher's just when he was shutting on a Saturday night. And the butcher says, can I help you? And he said, can I have a mince round? 
And he said, you do what you like, but I'm closing in five minutes. A chip roll, says Alan Brown. Yes, I suppose a chip roll. Now, Alan Brown, you're from the borders, so a chip roll, so you get your chips first. But uh, you can have a roll in chips in central Scotland. Are you for independence, says James Ridley. I'm not political, James Ridley. But um, what I uh, will say is I feel Scotland would benefit from being...